I would like to bring uh, appreciation from the Board of Directors of the American Academy of Craniofacial Pain. This is a wonderful venue. It is a, a wonderful group of people and a tremendously successful meeting and, and y'all have really come out of the box with a bang. I think you need to give yourselves a big round of applause. TMD Concepts Disc Recapture and Condyle Regeneration. Now there's your word. Who thought we could regenerate condyles? I didn't until I did some research. Actually two points. That there is peer-reviewed evidence-based research to support this p opinion that you have. And something very important, that there's a broad consensus opinion among experts this in the field. An MRI of a patient. Well, yeah, it's an MRI of a person. Um, that's a normal MRI. You see the cortical plate? Nice cortical plate. There's the back of the disc, 12 o'clock high. There it is, the anterior foot, intermediate zone. Uh, you know what's really weird about this? This is taken on a patient who's 80 years and 3 months old. It's got half of their teeth. You know what that means? That you can have normal TM joints at 80 years old and you can have half your teeth. This is Frank Netter's drawings from the Sibagagi series and you can see that is the same normal that I showed a moment ago with the potential spaces showing. Here's out of an Amos, American Association of Oral and Maxwell Facial Surgeons publication. Normal. Look at the distance between the top of the, top of the condyle and top of the fossa. Draw the horizontal line across. It's the same. This is from the cover of Kaplan and Sales textbook. Look at the picture of a normal TM joint on the cover. It's the same. This is out of Jeff Okison's textbook. Look at the top of the condyle across to the eminence. It's the same. We have a consensus opinion among almost all experts that this is normal. Who needs TMJ treatment? Oh, has there ever been a bigger question? This is out of the JADA, March 1990. Remember, very important journal. McNeil, Mulru, Tanaka. The goals for management of how many patients? All patients. With TMD include reduced pain, restore normal function, reduce the need for future health care, and restore normal lifestyle functioning. Well, also Katzberg and Westison, bright guys, say the primary goal of treatment of TM joint disorders is eliminate pain. We don't eliminate pain in these patients. We make them better. Words like this get us in trouble. Always and never, don't use them. And dysfunction. Secondary goals are restore normal anatomy and pre prevent progression of disease. So I break this down into what I call PDQ. Pain, dysfunction, negative change in quality of life. If you have a patient sitting in your chair and, you, and they have no pain, can you make their pain go away? If they have no dysfunction, I don't care if their jaw grinds and they can only open 35 millimeters and they say, I can eat anything I want. I can do anything with my mouth that I want to. Can you make them better? No. If they have no negative change in quality of life, I mean, there are some people, their jaw pops so bad at the dinner table, everybody at the table says, will you stop that? Now, if it doesn't bother them, then they don't have a negative change in quality of life. Can you improve their quality of life if they have no negative change in quality of life? No. Well, this patient doesn't need treatment, in my opinion, and in a lot of experts as a patient. It's 58 years and 8 months old. There's her birthday. Presenting occlusion. Looks like about lots of your patients. Problem is, on her left side, she's got this almost avascular necrosis looking thing, if you want to make that diagnosis. We called it a dead or black condyle. This one has a marrow space. That one doesn't. On the left side, on January 14, 1995. Here she is translating. A little bit more translation on the left than the right. She's a wreck. She's DJD. Here she is, coronal on the left. Dead, you know, no marrow. Looks like it. All right, here she is whenever I put the awake appliance in. And here's her sleep appliance. Changed her, by the way, from, well, 
I don't have the overbite overjet from the beginning. I, it was there. Her MRI looks like in 2006. You see that left condyle? That look like marrow to you? Does to me. That's pretty good. That's a positive change. A real positive change. 